writing in the old back chat. Where every load of locals be living. We in all like a fast boys. Kahi, Elua, Ekolo, Eha. Slow it down, brother. Slow it down, brother. This, this ain't the main line. Yeah. We writing in the old chat chat. Where every load of locals be living. Putting up the little grass shack. It's small, but it's just enough. Now we plan the hour. Ekahi, elua, ekolo, eha. All the luxury condos, brother. This ain't the mainland. Putting up the little grass shack. It's small, but it's just enough. Now we plan the hour. Ekahi, elua, ekolo, eha. How's it, everybody, and welcome to the Daily Pigeon. My name's Andy Bumatai, and I'm James Ronnie, and you are the Hamajang Gang. That's right, and all you have to do to be part of the Hamajang Gang is participate in the chat. That's what we call the chat, the Hamajang Gang. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, Hawaiian vernacular colloquialisms, Hamajang is a um, <clears throat> Hawaiian pidgin English, a phrase that means all mix up. You know, like you take a sock, throw them on the ground, boom, that baga, oh, Hamajang. And we are certainly that. Okay. Uh, what? That, what do you mean James looks different? Wait, here, let me change the shot. Okay. Is that better? There we go. Yeah, he, <clears throat> he went out and got too much sun and... Okay. James is not here, gang. Um, he had a prior commitment, and he is fulfilling that. So I am um, flying solo. Unfortunately, not Han Solo, because, you know, <clears throat> don't get cocky is not in my vernacular. So I will be going it alone here today. But I tell you what, let's say hi to a few of the Hammer Jane gang right here coming in hot right there. Hey, how's it, Kevin Frazier? Aloha no, mahalo for being here. Darlene S., thanks, eh? Oops, I went on around too far on that one on the uh, chat. Sorry, um, I, I, uh, here's what I have going to give you an idea for those of you who may have just tuned in. This is my world right here, and I uh, sometimes hit the wrong button. So, you've been warned. Me and uh, my tiki friend over here, okay? Yeah, that's right. Namaste, send. Good effort, Andy. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, we, we'll see. The jury's still out. Namaste Zen. Stefan Mata, how you, brada? Aloha no. Rick S. Oh, Rick is going incognito. Someone went ghost his avatar. Nani Aloha, one of our moderationists right there. Also a... Um, <clears throat> Associate producer, and uh, we are working hard on Renton and Sacramento shows coming up. James Monty and I in Sacramento. I'll sh talk more about that in a bit. But also myself, James Monty, and special guest Augie T. That's right, Augie Toba joining us in Renton, Washington. Go to andybumatai.com for more information and tickets if you'd like. And uh, in Renton and Washington excuse me, Renton and Sacramento, uh, our MC will be none other than Mad Statter of Chatter with Statter fame on YouTube and on Twitch. Okay, boy, been a while since I had to do all the talking. Gee, I know, <laughs> kind of forgot how. How's it, Rick S.? This is the Ninth Island, Rick S. Rick S., we have two. How lucky are we? Charles K., how are you, brother? We got to do the Charles K. salute. Yeah, how's it at the end, gang? Oh, Rick S. looks like James is sitting in a dentist chair. What do you mean? Let me see. Yeah, oh, yeah. Open wide. Okay, hold on. Hold that right there. Okay, just a second. I know. <clears throat> Take it easy. It'll be over soon. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Hey, um, DJ Smoke, how are you, brother? By the way, today, um, and um, we have a special guest, and that will be Lono, who will be jo uh, joining us at the bottom of the hour. If you're not uh, familiar with who Lono is, you're in for a big treat. <clears throat> Lono provides a lot of the music um, for this show, uh, for Mad Statter show, for a Photo Luke show. In fact, um, he has a new album out, and we're going to be talking about that. I have some clips. I don't have any music videos. I usually take his uh, music and do a little music video. In fact, the opening um, sequence um, on today's show, that Paia, you know, a a color, you know, uh, that, that was Lono. Anyway, okay. Linda Liu. Aloha, y'all, from Degree, Texas. Been away too long. Oh, oh 100 Degree, Texas. I, I missed that part. Sorry. Yeah, kind of hot. It's, uh, it's a little more, it's a little humid here today. Not, no breeze and not always pink, you know. What do we say in Hawaii? Oh, yeah, it's so about 92 and with the wind chill factor. 93 but right now it's probably i would say 87 something like that and uh actually quite pleasant medium seven up how are you get along how young how are you there we go big kahuna sup gangy oh look he looks like what is that you're standing next to something get your own tiki going huh well oh, that's all right it's maybe it's tiki day mama sean aloha no uh, Privizel, Privizel, oh man, that's a dyx dyslexic's nightmare, thank you, appreciate it, but hey, mahalo for being here, it's a serious kind, boom, kaialo, oh, what there, kaialo, how you say that, shaka bra, how's it, Robert, <clears throat> okay, let's say, ah, uh, namaste, you kick ass, <laughs> Uh, nobody asks for help better than I do. Help! That's right. Uh, hey, comedian James Money. Funny every day. Hey, hey, I look pretty good. Very handsome. Oh, my goodness. Take a look at that. Have you ever looked better, James? Right there. <laughs> I especially love this shot right here. Look at that. Ah, funny, we entertain ourselves here. So anyway, we'll be talking to Lono at the bottom of the hour, and we editorialize news items, okay? And today we're going to talk about native bird problem problem. That's right, there's a native bird problem 
problem, okay? And Waikiki Church is back to feeding the homeless. Don't know if I'll get to all of these, but the Hawaii, a Hawaii filmmaker wins big at the, at the local, um, the regional Emmys, I think they call them, right? <clears throat> Some jailed ex-cops are going into halfway houses. Yeah. Well, we'll talk maybe a little bit about that. And guess what? Talking about the cops, you know, cars that they seize as evidence, they have so many of them now, they're actually hurting the ability for on-duty police officers to park in their own garage. A little rough right there. And a drifting boat takes a vacation in Punalu'u. I know. All of that, hope we have time to get to all of it. Not sure. Ooh, long time lurker, first time poster, Mahalos from San Antonio. Hi, you, Brazil TTV. How come when I click on as you, the bug, I don't like work? Oh, right there. Mahalo. Love the uh, thumbnail avatar thing there. Very artistic. Is that your work? Looks good. Okay. Uh, where you in? Get James to stand in. No, th that's the tiki that's generally behind him. You know, when he's like this, right? You see right there with the, uh, to the, to the left, I guess to the left of that plant, that's, it's usually way back there. This tiki was given to me by um, Uncle Black back in the day. You guys remember Uncle Black? Yeah, he was a big supporter of the, of the show and he bought that and sent it to me. You know how big and heavy that thing is? Yeah, U.S. Postal Mail must have cost him a fortune. Tanks, eh? Ooh. Oh, Koto 808, how are you? Please tell Jojo girl I said, how's it? Ooh, sorry, Andy, I miss you all. That's okay, brother. Don't worry about it. Do your thing. I know you got to have a life once in a while. I know. And let me know what that's like, would you? I appreciate it. Hey, aloha from Seattle. James looked like he's been working out. Oh, yeah. I know. See, all the women have been noticing that. James, aloha. Yes, he's in the chat. A uh, mad statter. And I did mention that we'll be in Renton and uh, Sacramento and that you will be our MC. There we go. Man, I'll say Andy, long time lurker, first time. Oh, did I, am I, did I accidentally go to the bottom of the pop, top of the slide? Hey, how are you, Michael? Aloha, no. Okay, let's do the first one. There's no way I'm going to get back to all of them, but I will say hi to Bobby Tsunami. I'm kind of trying to catch the people I never say hi to. There's Rick S. He got his avatar working. Mahalo nui loa for that. Who that chiseled James Money. That's what he says right there. I know. That's his uh, <clears throat> superhero mode. Puka Shell, 115 degrees from Scottsdale, Arizona. What? <laughs> Little too hot. Boy, me. Okay, we'll say hi to Chris. Aloha, Gangi. Long time no watch. Well, you might have picked a strange day because not only is James not here, but uh, <clears throat> I'm all by my lonesome. But not so much because I am the Hamajang gang. Okay, so this first editorialized news item is about how the native bird problem is causing problems. Check this out. To save native Hawaiian birds on Maui is getting more backlash from the public. Court hearings, community meetings, even sign-waving events, all to stop the release of so-called incompatible mosquitoes. Our Chelsea Davis has both sides. There's only one thing worse. A small but loud group of residents Come on. outside. There's only one thing worse than a, a mosquito, and that's an incompatible mosquito. What's your sign? Virgo. Oh, great. This is going to be awful. Oh, nice to meet you. It's outside St. Mary's Church in Hana last week. They're trying to raise awareness in their rural East Maui community. They're also holding weekly public meetings. They don't want the state releasing millions of... It was so noisy they had to go to a still shot. <laughs> Look at this. No, what, what about your head? What? what? Mosquitoes in an effort to save native Hawaiian birds. I just want it to be really clear that we are all on the same team of wanting to save these birds. And the reason that we're pursuing this is we're worried that this is going to have the opposite effect. And we might lose these birds because of this. There is nothing scarier than a close-up of an insect. You know, you go right back to the Jurassic thinking, man, look at this thing. 
You know, if that was 20 feet tall, ugh, they'd be clearing cities and making Japanese movies. Project. Founder of Hava Unites, Tina Leah, filed a preliminary injunction and temporary restraining order against the Board of Land and Natural Resources and Department of Land and Natural Resources. The state's goal is to release incompatible male mosquitoes implanted with Wolbachia, a bacteria that makes the females unable to reproduce. The <laughs> Hey, that's kind of like talking about your ex on a date. <laughs> Mosquito suppression technique is designed to stop the spread of avian malaria that's killing native Hawaiian birds. But critics are worried the state could... That's a beautiful shot, though. Look at that. ...stakenly release some untreated mosquitoes, exacerbating the... Pro Every time I see birds like this, I think that's where Marvel gets the ideas for their superhero costumes, right? Look at that. Can you see like a logo on there? Big B for bird. Problem. This is why we're seeking the environmental impact statement so that we can learn more and say, you know, maybe we have enough information now to feel, you know, one way or the other about it. In court, experts say the plan is safe. Let's say uh, a Hawaiian honey creeper ingested one of the lab infected mosquitoes. Oh, what would happen to that bird? It's gastric juices will digest that organism very quickly so the mosquito itself as well as the wolbachia would be digested and would just be reduced to proteins enzymes fats etc the state hopes to eventually release mosquitoes statewide today is the last day for the public to comment on the kawaii environmental assessment the next hearing is for august 15th chelsea davis hawaii news now I love that gastric juices would destroy that mosquito if a bird ate it. Ugh, gastric juices sounds like a band you'd see at a punk concert, you know. Hey, if they can modify them, uh, if they can modify them to stop a bird virus, it might be okay then. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, again. You start dealing with that kind of stuff. Well, hey, how do you know that, you know? I know. It, it reminds me of when I worked at a dairy, we had a lot of flies, right? And one of the cowboys goes, you know, you get rid of the flies. You catch one, you paint the whole collie red, and the rest die laughing. <laughs> yeah, cowboy humor. Mm. They going waste so much time not going to get birds left to save. That was one of the issues when we covered this story earlier. Someone said that, you know, it's, there's a ticking clock going and these guys are messing around. Kenny Roberts, how are you, brother? Oh, I'm feeling well. Finally, i uh, get to go to work. Well, wow, that's nice. Oh, were, were you uh, ill, Kenny? I didn't hear about that. We have Lono on talking about his new uh, album um, coming up at the bottom of the hour. Yeah. 15 more minutes. Woohoo! How mosquitoes? It's that's the Florida state bird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here in Hawaii, it's the crane. Doc Bailey, cranes and equipment. <laughs> uh, anyway, save the birds. Yes. Uh, I love that movie. <laughs> Al Alfred would appreciate your support. Namaste, Zen. Okay, so now um, remember that uh, church that uh, they they the mayor asked to stop serving the homeless in Waikiki, feeding them because they'd line up on the sidewalks and and the and the uh, hotel across the street would go. You know, we're trying to sell ourselves as a resort, and you have these uh, you know moi lepos kebi looking bagas walking all over the place, and uh, they went. Well, guess what? You know, Whew. hey, lack of choices. Aloha, bro. Good to see you again. Also, uh, Lynn Nakasoni, mahalo for being here. So let's editorialize a news clip that talks about them starting to serve those homeless again. A Waikiki church that's been feeding the homeless for years is back at it, which wouldn't seem controversial at all, except some in the community are against it. That includes the mayor who's been trying to keep homeless people away from the tourist area. Our Betty Dowd went to Ohua Avenue to see what's changed. This is how St. Augustine by the Sea Catholic Church in Waikiki is responding to criticism, moving their lunch food line from off the streets to inside the church's gates. Wow. As you can see, they're off of the street. They're in our private property and they're very orderly. 
Dozens of people showed up for free meals. How's it going? Aloha. Hey, um, we're going to talk to Lono in a bit. And by the way, you're mentioned in his album's liner notes. Ohua Avenue today. A restart for Father Lane Akiona, who says Mayor Rick Blangiardi pressured him to halt the service on July 21st, oh, wow. claiming it attracts homeless people, criminals, drug users, and trash. But social media erupted with comments, criticizing the mayor and supporting Akiona. I think we're making a statement here. My obedience is first and foremost to God. The mayor is a nice man, but he is not my major superior that I need to obey. But tonight, Mayor Blangiardi says it was Father Akiona who asked him for help cleaning up the area two years ago. You know, I'm not heartless. Come on. You know, I always thought my conversations with Father Akiona were very supportive, very understanding. And quite honestly, I've been surprised by the fact that this has now seemingly become antagonistic. That was never our intent. For us, it's always been about public safety. In the past two years, the city yeah. has ordered police crackdowns, changed park hours, hired security guards, and targeted repeat offenders, all to keep troublemakers out of the tourist zone. We know there's a certain criminal element that is lurking in Waikiki. We know that from all the arrests that we've been making. I'm trying to deal with the systemic problem right now of what's causing people to feel or not feel as safe as we want them to feel. Nearby workers have mixed opinions about reopening the food line. I, I absolutely do understand where Rick Blangiardi is coming from, especially working here in Waikiki, how the homelessness and the problems that they can bring sometimes. They have good intentions, just cleaning up after. I remember a year ago, I think it was, when the church itself was a victim of vandalization. One Waikiki resident who was on the neighborhood board for three years says he heard many complaints about the food line. He's surprised it's back. Barely been a week between the food line being canceled and then it being restarted. And Father Akiona says aside from answering to God, he also answers to his superior, Bishop Larry Silva of the Honolulu Diocese. He says he hasn't been given any instructions to stop feeding the people in Waikiki. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Hmm. You know, that's a tough one, boy, I tell you. Uh, you know, it reminds me of something I read one time when <clears throat> in the, during the time of the de um, de Great Depression, right? America was going through that. And they had this thing where they gave people food, but they wouldn't just give it to them. They had this big ditch, and you had to dig this ditch and then the people behind it would fill it back in. And people went, well, what's the point? And they said, well, we have to tell these people that we're not just going to give them food, that they actually actually have to do something for it. And what made me think about that was, well, you've got all these people coming in here. Some of them don't have the ability, but many would, to clean stuff, to do something, um, you know, um, constructive um, for the food, right? And then people go, hey, you know, they're cleaning the sidewalk or taking down graffiti or whatever, you know. Get them doing something, you know. Many of those guys would love it probably. There probably are those that are just looking for free food so they can rob cars when, you know, when they're not doing that. But I think that's maybe a small percentage of them, right? And there's C. Honda buffing out Chatter with Statter, Wednesday and Sundays. There we go. <clears throat> and Statterbox at the cinema on Saturdays. That's so much fun. And then they comment on, they, they play a movie and then everyone comments on it. Oh, I know. A Bambi movie was my favorite. <laughs> ah! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Deborah. Thank you for showing face. Appreciate it. Doc Draws, mahalo for being here. Good. Your parking place just became available, Doc Draws, because uh, Deborah Casey Jones uh, went open up the spot. Ass out right there. Ooh. Is there a Fernandez Fun Factory still open? <laughs> Jerry, you're always asking about places that haven't been open for ever oh you no know there haven't you know oh, i know i feel sad every time i have to say ah uh, <clears throat> guess what no <laughs> i know um, how's it dave espina espina how's it uncle hey how you okay how we doing okay 10 more minutes before lono comes in he may be a little late or a little early we'll, we'll play it by ear you never know 
Okay. And uh, let's see. You know what I, what I wanted to do? No, maybe I won't do that. Now, I loved Fun Factory. It was fun. <laughs> but of course, when Fun Factory was there, Michael, what were you, eight? <laughs> of course you loved it. You go in now and you walk in Fun Factory now, if still existed. Your first thought would be, I wonder what the square footage on this place is. Insurance must be a killer. Oh, my God. How can they afford all these dairy products? Okay. What was the Fun Factory? It was like, uh, you know, like Ferrell's kind of, but it had some, um, I think there were some games in there and stuff. <clears throat> I never go because, you know, we never have that much money. Eh? So, But... Um, that's what it was. It was a place designed for, like, imagine Chuck E. Cheese uh, meets a GameStop, you know. It was kind of like that, I think. Yeah. But, you know, young people loved it. Eso eh. Monte with the turtles and a shaka. Ooh, a huge arcade. Yeah. Oh, how can they afford all these dairy products? <laughs> <laughs> there must be eggs involved in something. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, oh by the way, uh, if one of the moderators, uh, moderationists can queue up, um, I, I guess it's uh, lonomusic.com because when Lono comes in, that's the um, place you'll get the album that we're talking about. Carnival Indoors, Pearl Ridge. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah. In fact, here, you know what? I'm going to... Uh, no, nah, i got to get through these. I'm, t I'm having an argument with myself. Please, somebody help me break it up. Okay, stop. Here we go. Local filmmaker scores big on the regional Emmys. First, all new tonight, two former Honolulu police officers oh, convicted no, in the no. Kailoha. Hawaii filmmaker made a big splash at this year's regional Emmy Awards. Sam Potter won every category he entered for his film featuring a team of young watermen who are working to revive coral reefs in French Polynesia. Jim Mendoza has his story. My name is Sam Potter, and for the last few years, my curiosity has led me on adventures around the world. Kauai-born conservationist and independent filmmaker Sam Potter searches far and wide for stories to add to his growing list of mini documentaries that mainly focus on protecting the planet. And he is a very good storyteller. I like having the power to tell stories, uh, to lift people up. The 27-year-old began turning a camera on himself and his surroundings in high school. He has now produced several short films that showcase interesting people and places, and most importantly, the place he calls home. I can remind people of Hawaii how much we have to be proud of and show people who know nothing about Hawaii that it's a lot more than what they think it is. An indigenous person in a world that all too often has tried to stomp that out. His vision is for a Hawaii where... You know, it's interesting, you know, as a filmmaker, you look at what you just saw, which, which was about, what, four seconds? You know how long it takes to do that one shot and then go underneath and then get the thing and then cut it all together for four seconds? That's what I love about filmmakers. They are crazy. Traditional practices and indigenous values are respected. Where natural resources like aina, which is land, and why water, are cared for. A lot of people, they call us the ocean kids, you know? His best work to date is a 22-minute okay, film about a group's effort to repair and protect the coral reef. Okay, Lono just came in, so I'm going to be in the background geeking out, trying to bring him in. You guys watch this thing, okay? Sorry about that. ...that surround their home island of Moorea in French Polynesia. It's called the Coral Gardeners. I think the Coral Gardeners... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Looks like, but how do I, Lono, hang on there. I know you're in there, but I, I got to assign you to a, um, and I forgot how to do it. Oh, here, assign to guest, oh, what is it now? I think it's guest one. Does that work? Hold on. Let me see if I, if I can do this. It's been so long. Uh, dude. No, that's not it. Oh, man. Okay, Lono, hold on. Are you still there? Wait, D. Is it C? 
Oh, there are. Hey, Lono. <laughs> kind of dark, bro. There you go. <laughs> you know <Okay>. more light. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, oh, and, and you're, yeah, you're on live right now. I'm, I'm just yeah, trying yeah. to. No, I'm light. just trying to bring you in. Yeah, a light would be helpful. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, there. Oh, bro. Much better. Much better. Okay. Oh. Okay. Are you testing one, two, three? Good man. Okay. Let me let, 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 let me see if I can yeah. uh, how fancy I can get. Okay. Oops. Wait. Hold on. I gotta I gotta change all these uh, cameras around a little bit. Um, let's see. This should be a full shot of you. There you go. Inunui. <laughs> okay. And then I got uh, I got the that's the full shot. I got the double shot, and I got the oh yeah. Wait here. One more. One more to goof around with. Oh, I can't do it. Uh, I will stay away from that shot. Okay, bro, how are you? You all right? Good, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, you've been. How long you been working on this? Tell us a little bit first of all about the name of the album and. Um... Okay, uh, it's called uh, "When Ancestors Speak." When ancestors speak. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know, and I was so, reading uh, it. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I was reading the liner notes, right? You know, because when you sent me that thing, there was a PDF file of the all the stuff. And you called it um, Hawaiian folk music or? Yeah, it's uh, folk music from Hawaii. Ah, yeah. Explain how that's different than regular <laughs> uh, Hawaiian well, music. It's, yeah, well, it's... Um, it's uh, not a genre that Hawaiian music uh, has ventured into yet. It's something new? Kind of new, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, well, it's not, uh, it's not what's, uh, the, 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 it's not the pulse of what's going on right now. It's totally, different kind of Hawaiian music. I'm so glad to hear you say that because when I was listening to it, I was saying, you know what? The whole album, all eight cuts are in the Hawaiian language, right? right. But when you listen to it, it is not exactly what, you know what? Let me try to play a little, okay, of, of this one. I'm gonna play a little of um, a Po'a Nui Nui, right? Did that scare him and he ran around, ran away? Oh, okay. I'm going to play a little bit. Yeah. And and um, again, I, I don't even know if this will work, but um, I'm going to try it here. Okay. Bear with me, everybody. Here, here let me just see if I, if I click this. Is it, did it? Ah. Ah. Let me know if everyone can hear that. Cool. 
I want to talk to you, but I don't want to stop listening. Talk to him about what it's okay. about after. We, we probably have 20 seconds left. Hang on. is the word i mean it's 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 amazing and uh, koto 808 was saying and what's this song about lono okay uh paul is the night yeah anu anue is the rainbow so this song is about the first time i saw my first double night rainbow huh? yeah i, I didn't then, think it was possible no no there's there's a there's a night rainbow yeah there's the double night rainbow, and then there's the Kahuna rainbow. What is that? Yeah, there you go. See, it's all in this song. Oh. <laughs> well, tell us. Tell can you can you tell us a little bit about? Okay, the first time I saw my first double night rainbow, I was in Kihei, and it was uh they just built a new freeway there in Kihei, the back road, the yeah. upper road, and I was coming home from a gig at the my Makai bar at the Maui Marriott. Hey, Jack. <laughs> okay. And uh, I pulled over the side of the highway and saw my first double night rainbow. Wow. And then, uh, yeah, and then um, the Kihei was so bright, I guess. Well, the moon was out. Well, anyway, and this, the first, uh, the first um, uh, night rainbow I saw in Molokai, a lot of rainbows here, a lot of night rainbows. Uh, I saw the uh, 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 the Kahuna Rainbow over uh, Kahapahu, Kahapahu, a high ridge where the Kahuna, the Olohe, the Olohe lived there, and that's where I saw my first Kahuna Rainbow. And so when I went to work the next day, wait, wait, wait hold on. What the, makes it a Kahuna Rainbow? Because. Uh, you can see the colors because at night you only see the gray as the night oh, rainbow. You see, only see the I'm... gray, and you know people come from the mainland. How can you see a night rainbow? It's at night. So when they come here to Molokai, and I see a night rainbow, I call them up and say, "Look out your window right now!" And wow. a lady goes there. She look out the window. I just hear her scream. Ah! <laughs> I hear the phone <laughs> drop. I hear her run to her husband. Abna, Abna. You know, it's so funny. <laughs> There's a night rainbow. So the husband comes running out. He looks up there, but the rainbow's gone now. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, well. So he, he thinks she's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. You, you, wait, anytime you want, you see your wife look out the window and scream, you know what I mean? <laughs> they are issues. Okay, which, which, which one are these other? Now there are eight in here. But before I do that, I, I just had an idea. Before I do that, Mono, let me do this, okay? I want to I want to bring up and and see if we can um, show if you guys can see 
Oh, no, you won't be able to see it. Ah, I can't stick it on the screen. But I'm going to read it, right? And it says, uh, um, um, hold on, back here. Alongside the hills of uh, Cavella Plantation, right? And, and it, goes, it goes on about the, the songs and stuff. And what I'm trying to do right here, and it says, uh, produced at Lono Music, right? A special thanks um, to Keone, oh, no, Robert Baller, um, uh, Kayo Peeler, Friends of Lono Music, Keone Nunes, and the Heva uh, Heva uh, Design, Makua Akua, uh, uh, no, Maka Akua, thank you to my brother, hail to the Andy Bumatai, the Daily Pigeon Gang, the Hamajang Gang, James Mani, Photo Luke, Mad Status, C Honda, uh, Nani Aloha, Kim and uh, Richard Markham, Brada Bruce, and graphics by Pineapple Publishing. Oh, Brahma, stuck us on the kind. Whoo, asked me in there. I'm getting kind of. Mm. Well, you know, you you guys have kind of been our family this whole time, through this whole thing, right? And to see you back on the road again, and yeah, you know, like me. Oh God, I don't wanna. I don't want to spend the night anywhere, so I want to do like a, a festival during the day so I can get back home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, how long did this take to, get, uh, take to put together? Oh, well, Andy, what happened was our we had been working on this for about almost three years, and our Ooh. drummer, you know, during the, during the lockdown, and uh, our drummer finally uh, had enough of it. Yeah, and so uh, <laughs> you know, so we had to start all over from scratch, from starting from zero to nothing, and build. In fact, minus <sighs> since we had lost a drummer, and so the bass player and I decided, Vic decided to uh, just try to keep it going because we had spent so much hours in the studio working at. You know, remember I was telling you I had to have rehearsals and stuff. Earlier part of the Hammer Jam Gang, but yeah. anyway. Uh, so uh, here, here is Vic and my, myself speaking from the ancestors. So when I was about to release the CD, the project of Earl, the drummer, and and Vic and I, uh, I got really sick, and oh no, and and I was down. I was I was laid down for about four days. I was down, no energy, oh. water, and the ancestors were speaking to me. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> and so. Uh, it didn't go too well, <laughs> so uh, so I had, to, <laughs> I had to start over again with the ancestors, with the oh. bass player, with everything, Andy. So no here way. I go. My the ancestors, my uh, Kamion, Damien, Father Damien of Molokai, yeah. uh, my cousin Mac Poi Poi, uh, also uh, 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 John Kaini Kawa, yeah, great Kumuhula uh, of Molokai. Look, I uh, so the ancestors spoke. Then, so they made me start from zero. And it's like when you when was, you started <laughs> when you started over, Lono. What was the first song of of these eight that you that you came up with? And I'm gonna play it. Which was the uh, first? longest time? Longest time. Okay, I'm gonna play that. So this is you. You came out of the it's, ancestors that spoke to you, and this is what you came up with. Okay, let me let me yes, play sir. it. Yes, right down the line, all of them in a line, in a row, they said, Lono, this is what you're going to do, you're going to do it. And I had to build and start over and build everything from zero, or minus anyway, and or come what? back. Or what? And, uh, or it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't have happened. Oh, anyway. I get it. It wouldn't have happened. I would have just walked okay. away and said, well, I'm done. But I, I, uh, we started from zero, Vic and I, and uh, we're so happy. And we have another one standing by right now, about a about about 30 days from now, we have EV2. Wow. We're just in the final mixes right now. Okay. So we're going to shoot that out in about look at a this. month from now. Look, you look, Mad Statter says, when I was a rocker chick teenager, I always dreamt of being mentioned on a liner note. My dream came true. Oh, <laughs> well, you Okay, know. we're going to play Longest Time. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Here we go. I'm going to see. I should be able to click that. Here we go. Okay, let's see, let's see if I can do this. Back up. Okay. 
¡Qué hombre! ¡Qué hombre! Oh, there you go, see, there's more rainbows. There you go. to see if there was what I can do to lower the I can I can uh go on oh, I, I was I was trying to figure out a way to lower just the um does that does that lower for you guys listening so I can keep it in the background Johnny Rocks Hollywood, loving the Puerto Rico short. Hey, Suzanne, how are you? Uh, Suzanne. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gang yeah, from yeah, Almeida. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Still too loud. Yeah, I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to drop it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to do this. Oh, come on. Let me do this. There we go. Sorry. Um, I no, don't no, have, yeah, again, I'm playing this off of, a, off a hard drive because I didn't, you know, yada, yada. But what anyway, I'm, I'm listening to the groove and it's, it's like almost a combination of, and pardon my musical ignorance, but jazz and traditional Hawaiian chant. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, uh, I, uh, Mm, ventured into a lot of the different styles, right? A lot of the different styles of music. And so I have a, kind of a little toolbox of uh, of music. <laughs> oh. So I kind of, I'm trying to, uh, like I watched the Hokus this year and it was uh, nice. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, Andy, I'm not, I'm not in the academy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know that. Well, but, you know, but who cares? You know what I mean? Neither was Picasso, all <laughs> right? Because, yeah. you know, I think most of us know you. Um, I mean, if you looked up the word eclectic, you know, your picture would be next to it in the dictionary, right? Yeah. <laughs> because... Yeah. I mean, everything from, you know, a belief to, you know, a that's what oh, she yeah, does yeah, 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 yeah. to, you know, all these yeah. different styles that you do. And then all of a sudden, here you are combining basically two genres that normally would be on opposite sides of the same coin. A am I, did I nail that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, trying to mesh the two without uh, being, uh, you know, Hearing like you're selling out or something about it, <laughs> but yeah. keeping it island, Hawaiian island, kind of like we grew up back when Country Comfort and yeah. Kalapana, C and K, Alumana, and so I'm kind of coming from that, from that era, you know, all, all us guys in the '60s, 
yeah. <laughs> from that time <laughs> and uh, and up. So music is real basic, uh, um, uh, a different style of Hawaiian music, but not just one song, but all the songs, right? All the songs. Yeah. And even the next project, same thing, Andy. We wow. kind of am not, it, we're not in the academy. So since we're not in the academy, we do have freedoms, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but you know, when I'm listening to it, right, Lono, I, I'm saying, you know, it feels like you guys were in a room and said, who cares about how commercial it is? We're going to play from our bones. We're not in the academy. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, by the way, that's Lono's version of broadcast quality. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> So, <laughs> I mean, you, you're, 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 you're saying it, but I don't want to say it, but yeah, you know, I don't want to, yeah. uh, I want to be able to be more, more, more expressive with my Hawaiian side from the island that I grew up, uh, you know, from that time, that genre, uh, you know, you, you know. Well, like, Jerry like, just like said it's a, it has a jazzy feel to it. And when he says jazzy, I'm thinking he's talking straight ahead jazz. Well, that. That can be a character in this song, and that's awesome. But if you listen to the rest of the songs, you see yeah. where it, where that one might fit in, where that jazz thing might fit in. If you listen yeah. to the rest, like 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 everybody in this family, not just the the jazz yeah. guy over there. <laughs> okay, let's. I'm I'm gonna play another one. This was seven. Okay. Uh, Yo yeah. ikala, right? Yo ikala, you you are the light. You are the light. Oh, man. Okay, let's listen to this because what I'm hearing, and again, you know, I'm not a musician. I'm hearing chords and things, you know, I mean, without, at the risk of trying to sound hip, it, it's like, you know, the, the, the jazz guys, they talk about the tritone subs, right? Where you know, there's a chord, but they took one and went, what? It sounds like you're right, doing right, that. Right, right, right. Like the triads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're doing that, you know? Anyway. Bah. I played with jazz guys. Yeah. Here we go. I played with some jazz guys. <laughs> yeah. Slacky. We got Slacky in this one, Andy. Sorry if it's too loud. I can't really control that. It's an early song from uh, Kill and Capono Beamer. I heard it. It's about Kala Kala. What, what, what was that? What, what did you say? This the only it's song that was? It's an early that, right? song from Kill and Capono Beamer. Oh. They did okay. this song when I was in high school, back in Waianae. Yeah. And uh, funny thing, Andy, to all these years, 40, 45, 50 years almost. Yeah. That song is on my playlist all the way through, Andy. Wow. Well, that's all my bands, everything I played in. That song came out somewhere. That's <laughs> funny. Bro, I see how hip you friend. are. For, for me, it's Sugar Sugar by the Archies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Keone.
Peace. Thank you. Big ass. Yes, go to um, lonomusic.com and you can buy this. Uh, it's available now. How many uh, of these EVs will, this is one. You say you got two coming up. How many will there be? We'll try to get four of them out. Wow. By the end of this year, we'll try to get one more coming up soon. We're working on the next one. We'll try to get four if we can. And, uh, you know, it just takes time. <laughs> Oh, we're two old guys. <laughs> wow. Hey, Brian, how are you, man? We're talking to Lono. Of course, he has a new album coming out, so that's what we're doing. <clears throat> and uh, I, I didn't have my um, um, notifications on, so the people who are uh, um, donating during that, I'm sorry, you, you know, it didn't jump up on the screen like it normally does. But, uh, wow. <clears throat> you know, how many of your, how many, uh, of your other musician friends go bro what you reach or what you don't need to worry about being commercial and just play for the hot hey you know andy um when i uh produced that uh record with kenny roberts and all those guys all the other bands yeah i uh i work conventions a lot of conventions in kihei wailea Kenna, Lahaina, and every time i went to work i would take that check and i would just put it on the side and just wait to uh buy me a couple of hours up at the studio wow. right so i bring a band in bring a whole band in get them all set up and uh and and, and, and use up all that convention money <laughs> <laughs> well i gotta tell you we're, yeah. you know the musical world is better for it and uh, mad statter um, mentions that the album came out july 15th it's now ready for download who hype train yeah, was yeah. there a hype train going on Okay, well, I appreciate that, you guys. I, I get, that's on the Twitch side. And again, James isn't here to look over at that for me, so uh, we'll, uh, let's see where we're at. Oh, yeah. oh, I guess the hype train is over. I missed it. That's okay. We got the um, 
musical train going here. <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> you you got the album, you finished it. Just as just as someone, you know, who writes jokes a lot of times, throws it out there and goes, Okay, that's not working and I drop it. How many tunes have you come up with with your cohorts and gone, you know what, bro, that one ain't working? Uh, not much. Not much. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, only, I know, everything I bring in yeah. comes from my archives, and so I'll bring it in. And I got a lot of these songs on the next CD, on the next project. Let's say there's no CD, but next project yeah. is uh, was written back in 2000, 2001. Wow. But when you read all the lyrics in it and you look at the lyrics in it, it definitely pertains to today. Wow. <laughs> The sound, so they, the, waited, they waited a lot of years to come out. <laughs> well, and, and that's what makes the uh, many classic songs classic. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of the songs in the 60s that were thought of as political about the times, you play them today and they still apply, hence classic. Yeah, Andy. So wow. that was fun. It was hard to do, but it was, uh, you know, and, uh, but, but, but uh, we needed to do it because... Uh, we're two old guys, and uh, yeah. and we love life, and, and uh, 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 you know. So every day I get a chance to uh, watch the Daily Pigeon, and, <laughs> and oh yeah, hey Andy, uh, I like to thank. I gotta thank Keone, Keone Nunes, in the graphics. You know, like I said, he did that design in there, and that design comes from uh, uh, my uncle, Rick, uncle. Uh, Rudy Mitchell, who was a friend to Keone, he is an uncle of mine, and he did a research of our genealogy back to Tahiti. Oh. So I have, and he came back with three books that he composed of this genealogy, and he signed the three of them, and from these three books came all the other books to all of the clan of the last reigning kahuna of, of, of Kamehameha, whose name was Heva Heva. Wow, and so amazing. Keone, Keone came up with the design that you see on the in the graphics. Wow! So when you see the graphics and the lyrics and stuff, that design there was was Keone's I, design. I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could show it to you. It's a beautiful that you're talking about that one that's on the PDF. That that's basically the CD cover and all that design. Amazing. All that design, all the all the Hawaiian any Hawaiian form of any Hawaiian the artwork. There's two different designs. They layer There's on each no, other. I can't. So I wish I, was, I could. Go ahead. I was here. I was here to be, man. It was, uh -huh, it was just look. the best thing. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Keone's design there. That white part and the part in the stripes that are going across the bands. That's yeah. also part of that. That artwork is from Keone, and it is about where I'm living right now and the yeah. Molokai. Miho, which is a well, Keone can explain it. Keone can explain it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh, believe me, yeah, but no, it's beautiful. And, and you know, and there's so much when you download, when you do the download, okay, from right. lonomusic.com, do you get this PDF right. that, I, that I'm showing? You get all, right, you get the media kit, you get the PDF, everything goes, all the lyrics go, so you get all the lyrics, wow. um, and so you can kind of kind of read along. And on, on the next project, I'll be doing the same thing. Hey, okay. in the Nanakuni house. All right. Aina. 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 Let me ask you, Lono. Okay. You, you've got these four, this, this series of four um, uh, albums coming out. This is not by any means the last hurrah, is it? Uh, of course not. No. Oh. no. Okay. Long as we're, you know, long as uh, uh oh, no, I can't say that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, we, this, there should be more. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm gonna, you know. <laughs> cool. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I know. Okay. You know what, Lono? We're gonna let, let's listen to one more. I'm gonna play what cut eight. Would that be a good one to end on? And then after that, we'll say we'll say goodbye to everybody. And thank you. Sure and we'll make sure to send them to lonomusic.com. 
um, if any of the moderationists have that so that people can click on it and go there while we're listening to this. But l let me just play this here. This is Ka'akao uh, Maka... Ooh, it's cut off. I can't see it. Ka'akao Maka Veli Veli. Veli Veli. Okay, the thanks. Last, one of the last reigning kahunas of Molokai. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Let's play that. Okay, hold on. Click. Oh, what happened? Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, Andy. Don't worry, it's all kahuna. <laughs> the kahuna gonna take care of us. <laughs> <laughs> came out, Andy. Came out. The kahuna came out. <laughs> this song is kind of long. If you want to cut it short, that's fine. Perfect in the calm. Uh, this is the first navigator to Molokai. Now uh, the first chief. All his sons all the way down. The next chief. Molokai. All the chiefs. Aloha Sam. Thank you. Hi, Chief. Last reigning Kahuna of That's Vic on the steel guitar.
Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Wait right here. Yeah, just, hey. just the right amount too, Mad Statter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that good? Thank you. Yes, beautiful. You know, uh, you know, as a comic, right? As a comedian, we tell jokes, we get immediate reaction. Whether you know, but I'm, th I always thought, as a song writer and performer, you put it out. It's not often that you get to hear people listening to it and seeing the comics jump up like that. You know, how does that exactly. feel? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. I know, look, what a melody on th on that song. There we go. Well, I got chicken skin vibes to the max, E.T. Guerrero. Ooh, and then here's Keone. Mahalo for the beautiful music, Lono. Although hey. I am thousands of miles away, I'm always connected through your music and the laughter that Andy and James bring. Mahalo nui loa, brothers. Woo, there we go. Hail to thee. Okay, gang, so we're gonna wrap it up right there. Lonomusic.com, go download it, right? <clears throat> and mention my name and get 1.3% off the tax. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing if you mention my name. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So mahalo, bro. Thank you. Anything you want to say to the people on the way out? Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Amajan gang. Thank you, you guys. I'm kind of busy, but I'm trying to get this stuff up. Vic and I are working hard. So we get a chance, we can cast a show. And then uh, thank you so much for even listening to it. That's awesome. Pretty ah, awesome. That's what it's all about, man. And keep on keeping on, my brother. Hail to thee, Thank bro. you, Andy. Thank you for having me. You're thank very you so welcome. Much. And thanks to everybody thank who you, watched. Guys. And again, you know, if can, you know, all the stuff, like, subscribe, yada, yada, whatever. And of course, go to lonomusic.com. Aloha, gang. I can poke, poke the button. Three, two, one. Doot.